RFK Jr. admits to dumping a dead bear in Central Park. The entirety of this article, the entirety of the story that I found. I can only, I can only wish and dream through practice and a miracle to develop the creative writing skills to even compare to this man's life and his choices. This politician, who was a presidential candidate, by the way, found a dead bear cub in 2014 that had supposedly, allegedly, been hit by someone else. And he found it, and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this bear carcass. That's good bear meat. He's gonna get... He's gonna get a bear tag to take home a roadkill bear so that he could take the meat, have the meat, take the skin, make a bear skin rug, even though apparently it was a 44-pound bear cub, so I couldn't have been that big of a bear skin rug. But in his infinite politician wisdom, he had to go to a, a dinner. And time was his enemy. It wouldn't have been a good idea to leave a dead bear in his car for too long. So he figured he ran out of time. But <laughs> on top of that, not only did he have this tiny dead bear in his car, he also had an old bicycle that he needed to get rid of. So what does he do? He, he decides, you know, it would be funny if people found this dead bear in this broken bicycle in the bike lane of Central Park. As if, as if someone was not only riding an old bike. By the way, it wasn't like a new bike. It was an old bike. It was an old, already broken bike. Someone was riding a, an old bike, hit a bear cub, killed the bear cub, and then fleed the scene without taking the bike with them. This is... I couldn't make this up. I, I, in all my wildest dreams, this feels like a D&D session right here. What were the cops thinking? I want to be inside their mind during this time because <laughs> Central Park as big as it is no native bears okay no native bears how fast could that old bike have been going I gotta admit the situ he's insane okay without shadow of a doubt this guy is out of his mind But the joke is solid. You gotta give him that. The joke... He wasn't drinking. According, according to his account, he hadn't been drinking. But his friends had. And he brought up the idea. And his drinking friends told him, it's a good idea. And he went along with it. He, of course, was sober the entire time. He blames it also... Because apparently, later on, he also said, you know, a brain, a worm... Maybe it's that brain worm. A worm went into his brain, ate a little bit of his brain, and then died inside his head. That's a story he's also told people. By the way, no. Yes, he was a he, is, he was a conspiracy theorist, and then he turned into a third party's candidate. An improbable sounding scandals were made part of his brain. I, I haven't even looked that up. I want to find out about that. He denies the reports of once eating barbecued dog, said that it was a goat. This man, he's living the life I dream of. <laughs> to be this big of a flaming jackass is something I only thought would exist in imagination land. This is the kind of stupid I want to do with my money. Just dead bears and old bicycles mysteriously turning up in public areas. 
<laughs> when people find out it was me, it was probably that brain worm. Did I mention that? It's kind of integral to the plot. That brain worm really messed me up. Okay. It came at me from all, all kinds of angles. I wanna watch I wanna watch a clip now. This one comes from ABC7. Take a look. A decade ago, a Central Park mystery baffled New Yorkers. We saw something on the back wheel that it could have been a raccoon. It captured headlines across the country. Police now want to know a large 44-pound raccoon. I'm not park. saying it's now impossible. We know. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the independent presidential candidate, says he brought the dead bear to Central Park. I pulled over and... I you know when you confess to strange bear droppings? To Roseanne Barr. He video that he left the dead bear right there with an old bicycle beside a Central Park bike path because he thought it would be, quote, amusing. In the videotaped confession, <laughs> Kennedy recounts the strange tale I'm not gonna lie. to controversial comedian... Ro I'm not gonna lie. He was right about one thing. Right? At least in my opinion. It's... It's amusing. But it's also unironic, unironically completely messed up. Because he's like this... When you, when you think of a leader, you know, but the complete audacity... Oh, here's the other thing, is that it was after... No, it was right before he was going to take a bunch of his friends up falcon hunting. Or falconeering. Basically, they were hunting, but they were it's, they were using falcons to hunt for them. They were they were falcon falconeering was happening that day, and all of the falconeering hunting took up so much time. He had so much fun falconeering that the day got away from him with the dead bear in his car. And he's running late for a dinner. That's why this whole thing happened. So after taking his friends out, drinking and falcon hunting, as they were driving back to New York with a dead bear, is he told his drunk friends, he was, he was like, man, I can't keep this. This dead bear won't keep in this car. It's too warm, you know? I wanted it, but now it's a problem. And instead of just dumping it, he tells his friends, you know, I know I just remember Central Park recently got bike lanes. What do you guys think if I could take... I also have this old bike, by the way, that I keep in the car just in case. Just in case of other accidents. I always keep... I'm always thinking about the next prank. As a politician and a leader of people, I'm always thinking, what's the big prank that I can pull on the unsuspected civilians? This is my moment right here. Guys, I think we have a golden opportunity. I have the dead bear. I have the bike. Center Park recently renewed their bike lanes. What if? Hear me out. His friends in the back. Other wealthy people, probably. Other politicians say, do it. The bike killed the bear, bro. Go out there and make your statement piece. This is art, okay? This man's a genius. He is a painter, and the world is his canvas. The flavor he's adding to the world right now. Hold on, let's... I could go on, hold on. It's, I got, you gotta hear more. Bar and says he is talking about it now. There's Roseanne Barr. She was there for some order. reason. The he was like, if all the people, if all the people could understand where I'm coming from, my perspective, <laughs> I need to find someone of like mindness. I'll confess the bear dropping slash falsified bike accident to Roseanne Barr. Article, Makes sense. It details Kennedy's role in bringing the dead bear to Central Park. Anyway. Kennedy recounts how he saw a woman hit the bear with her car on a highway in upstate. Allegedly. I'm not.
It's just the amount of other circumstances that make it to where I want to stop and say, Did he, though? Did someone else hit the bear? Did he hit the bear and not want to admit that he... There was drinking, there was a dead bear, there was a car, there was falconry. Just maybe. Just maybe. Let's... I'm just putting maybe right there. New York. He says he picked up the dead cub, intending to skin it and store the flesh in his refrigerator. But after a day of falcon hunting, he had to rush to a dinner at Peter Luger's Steakhouse in Brooklyn. I'm running late for that dinner. Two these days cost about 150 bucks. And then he had to go to the airport. Pricey. I was drinking, of course, but people were drinking with me who thought this was a good idea. I said, let's go put the bear in Central Park and we'll make it look like he got hit by a plane. <laughs> in the new video, he says he was shocked to discover a meeting of minds. The discovery of the dead bear with the bicycle got the next day. To be a fly on the wall in that room. Look at that face. <laughs> as insane as she is, she's even like, what? There it is. <laughs> Those are the eyes of someone. I've done some messed up stuff, but this guy. That's a wow. That is. Uh, maybe you should stop talking. That's two things. That's two emotions being portrayed right here. Like, wow. <laughs> Do you remember we're being recorded right now? You sound insane. How do I tell this man it might be time to pump the brakes? This is her trying to find a polite way to ease into the conversation. Oh, oh wow, that's crazy. <laughs> it's not the only bizarre story to come out during the Kennedy campaign. No way. This year, it was Say it ain't so. Testified that a worm, quote, got into my brain and ate a portion of it. <laughs> I don't know why I found this one to be funny too. I think this is funnier than the bear thing. By the way, everyone. Maybe I should run for president. I feel like a worm got into my brain, ate a portion of it, and died. It, this is what causes me to have such lapses in judgment sometimes, you know? You guys gotta let some things go. It's like all that stuff that happened in the past, you gotta let it go, man. I had brain. I had worm brains. I had, I had brain worms, bro. And sometimes I, I get a little jokey. I get a little jokey. Sometimes I find dead animals, sometimes I move them places. I like to shuffle them around. Give you a little surprise. I'm like a cat. I'm like a pet cat. I think you're a terrible hunter and I have to bring you gifts. That was back in 2012. At one point, Kennedy two years was prior to the bear incident. The and make a note of that. Something different. <laughs> oh, he's going to give you something different. All right. All the other politicians will lie to you. I'm going to play pranks on you. Sidestep right there. Never let them know your next move. This guy right here. I was mad when I first heard this story, but then the more I learned, the more joy I found in it. And I was like, he should run again. <laughs> this should be our next president. The other dudes sound too old and insane, but this guy sounds insane in a way that I like. He's gonna pull a prank on the world. To about 6% in the 538 polling average on his campaign. But this guy... He can get a dead bear into Central Park and a broken bicycle and keep his mouth shut about it for a decade, okay? That's dedication to a prank, all right? That's the kind of leader we need now. 
campaign claims his name. If anyone questions him and his choices, states, that's not brain worms. Win, but it could be enough to play a decisive role in determining. He's a very effective leader, but every now and then, when my pranks come out and get the better of you, <laughs> I'm sorry, you forgot about my brain worms, okay? Don't be so judgy, no one's perfect. Every now and then, people have brain worms and their choices might get a little kooky, okay? Got something to take on board, take it on board. Let it sink in. Let the fumes permeate your nostrils. Just get comfortable with it. Learn to love again. Who does? Hmm. That's NFK Jr. right there. I don't know. I. At first, I was mad. And then the more I read. Oh, man. Maybe. Maybe later on, I'll go and research that whole. Did you eat a barbecue dog? And he was like, no, dude, it was totally a goat. I wouldn't eat a dog. <laughs> I wouldn't be kind of like all shifty eyed. And if I did eat a dog, it was probably the brain worms. That's the, this naturally only two sentences came out when I saw this title. JFK, RFK Jr. admits to dumping a dead bear in Central Park. And the two sentences that came to mind, and I just stared at it, was, what can I even say? What am I supposed to do with this information? And then the more I read, I just... It's beautiful. This is history. We are witnessing... We are a part of history right now. It's beautiful. I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you all. Ewok Templar. My little reaction to this story. I'm gonna leave you all alone now. Do the thing. Do the thing. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, if another story gr like this grabs me, of course, I'll try to put it to the side and do my own little reaction to it. But thank you all. Y'all take it easy, all right? Some other accidents. I always keep. I'm always thinking about the next prank. As a politician and a leader of people, I'm always thinking, what's the big prank that can pull on the unsuspected civilians? This is my moment right here. Guys, I think we have a golden opportunity. I have the dead bear. I have the bike. Center Park recently renewed their bike lanes. What if?